What's up, you two? You know what time it is? My hand time. Uh, first, I would like to give a shout out to our two newest members of our Jersey Heads community here on YouTube. It's uh, RM Forever 1991 and Pioneer of Being Ugly One. Big shout out to you guys. Welcome to our Jersey Heads circle on YouTube. Welcome to the Jersey Heads community. Great videos to this point. And, um, you know, I look forward to, uh, to your future vids. So keep posting away. And, uh, again, welcome to our group. Welcome to the madness. <laughs> that is the Jersey Heads. <laughs> um, you know, the, I always look forward to challenges, uh, you know, that, that, that we all come up with here on YouTube as part of the Jersey Heads community. And I know that a bunch of us, including myself, have issued some challenges in the recent weeks. And, uh, you know, they're always great and a lot of fun. One of the challenges that I really liked was uh, the one that Jersey Kid issued us last year. And it, the thing I liked, and I, I like them all, don't get me wrong, but the thing that I liked is it was a spaced out challenge. So he, he issued it, I believe it was in the fall, and we had until the end of the year to, to respond to it. And, and we actually had to respond to it at the end of the year. Uh, and that, of course, being what's the rarest jersey in our collection. Or, you know, it was like a, a contest, you know, kind of thing. So this challenge of mine really isn't a contest. It, it, it is a challenge. But I like the fact, uh, I like that space out challenge. So I thought I would piggyback off of that and come up with, with one similar to that myself. A little different, and, and you'll see why. You know, every year, it's, it's kind of like a collecting resolution. You know, we come up with, boy, I'd love to get these certain jerseys by the end of the year or whatever. I, you know, I know I do. <laughs> um, and so I thought it would be kind of cool to have a challenge where it, it's a top whatever. I'm not, I'm, the number I'll be leaving it with, you know, it could be up to you guys, but I would like at least a minimum of three, a top three at minimum. Maximum, it's up to you guys. I myself don't want to do a top five. Whatever you guys want to do, it's cool with me. And what this is, is try to think try to think of some of the top, whatever, that number again is up to you, three, five, seven, ten, whatever. Top, the top number, again, up to you guys. In my case, I'll say top five. Jerseys that you hope to get by the end of the year 2010. And make a video. Let us know, you know, these jerseys, and at the end of the year, December of 2010, the last week of December, post another video and showing us if you were able to meet this, this top whatever list it is. If you make a top five, maybe it's three out of the top five, maybe it's two, maybe it's one, <laughs> maybe it's five, <laughs> maybe it's all five. But, so come up with some, with like a list, like, you know, and this might take a little time for you guys to, to figure out which, which which are the top ones that you'd love to get by the end of the end of the year. But I would, you know, I would like to see the the, the video made by by either, either the end of January or early February, so, somewhere in that range of, of, of your list. And then at the end of the year, you know, make another follow up video to it and show, hey, you know, here here here's the top five that I had interest and getting, and hey, this is what I was able to get, or the top ten, or whatever it is, top three, and uh, so there you go. So, I'll start with myself. <laughs> uh, I will tell you guys the top five jerseys I hope to get before, by, by New Year's Eve <laughs> 2010. Um, so here we go. So mine again is the top five, so I actually have a list. I know I'm a nut. <laughs> I have a list of some of the jerseys I hope to get before the end of the year. Now this list is coupled with the, the, the big list I have of all the throwbacks I hope to get at some point before the end of my collecting days. Will I ever get all of them off the list? Probably not, but at least they're there. <laughs> um, so my top five for 2010 is, the, the, the first one is the Grail, the, the top Grail jersey of mine. In 1989, Mitchell Ness, um, Mike Schmidt, Awake Ray, Philadelphia Phillies jersey with the dual patch. It has the 89 All-Star Game patch and it has the, you know, the old school Phillies logo patch with Independence Hall. I hope to get that one. So I would certainly, that, that's certainly the top of my grail uh, list and, and certainly one I'd love to get before the end of the year 2010. So that's number one. Number two, I'm sticking with the Phillies. Uh, Steve Carl, lefty. 
and one of the great pitchers of all time for the Phillies in, in all baseball. And I'd love to get a lefty jersey, preferably the powder blue, the Mitchell Nets one. I know they're available at this store, and the sale is just around the corner. So hopefully that will be the first one off the list this year. <laughs> but lefty is number two, Steve Carlton, Philly. Number three, I see you, Murph. <laughs> My my number three is a Jets jersey. It's a it's a Joe Klecko, Mitchell and Ness, uh, away white. Of course, you know as I mentioned in one video, I always love the, the screen print jersey. So this is certainly a screen print jersey. Um, the away white. I mean Joe Klecko, one of the great you know uh, players in Jets history. One of the few Jet players ever had his number retired. And I'd like to add a Joe Klecko to the jersey. Maybe a Mark Asto someday, but I I really like that white Joe Klecko jersey. So that's number three. There you go, Murph. <laughs> Number four. Don't think I haven't forgotten about you, Throwback King. <laughs> you know, I, I know your team's the Raiders, and I myself really don't have a Throwback Raiders jersey. And if I'm going to start a Raiders jersey, if, if I was going to pick one to start with for the Raiders, it has to be Marcus Allen. I know there's been a lot of great Raiders over the years, but I, I'm partial to the running backs. So... Bo Jackson was great, too, but I would love to get Marcus Allen, uh, Los Angeles Raiders jersey. Notice I said Los Angeles, see? <laughs> uh, Mitchell and Nash Raiders jersey, either the white or the black, but hey, you know, throwback king knows this. If you're going to get a Raiders jersey, you got to get the black one. So I hope to get a Marcus Allen black Raiders Mitchell and Nash jersey by the end of the year. So there you go, throwback king. <laughs> um... And number five, another great running back, Sweetness, Walter Payton. The away white, screen print, Mitchell and Ness with the big uh, George Hallis memorial patch on there. I know one of the other members, of, I, I'm blanking on his name, but he has it in his collection. And I would like to add it to my collection at some point. So I'm hoping maybe this will be the year. So... So those are my top five. The 89 away Mike Schmidt, Mitchell, and Ness, which is a top three all of mine. Uh, and a rare one, too, a rare jersey. Probably the hardest one I'll have to get for this year, <laughs> if ever. Uh, Lefty, Steve Carlton, Mitchell, and Ness. The uh, Joe Klenko, Mitchell, and Ness, away white, New York Jets. There you go, Murph. <laughs> Number four, Throwback King, there you go. Marcus Allen, Raiders. Mitchell and Ness, and number five, number five, of course, is Sweetness, the man, Walter Payton, away white with the big George Harris Memorial patch on there. I like, some people don't like that jersey, but I like it. I, you know, I, 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 I do like that jersey. So, so, you know, some people go either way with it, but I like it. It's a screen frame. I really like it. So I've seen it at the store, but I have yet to get it, but maybe this will be the year, <laughs> if not elsewhere. <laughs> So those are my top five. That's Mighty Fans Top 5 for 2010. Now let's see by the end of 2010 if those five or four or three or two or one of those five will be sitting in the collection <laughs> or be in my vault, a.k.a. closet, <laughs> by the end of the year. Um, now, of course, as we all know, when we make our pickup videos or, or mail day videos, you know, we'll probably have, you know, we'll already know that we picked them up. But it's still the challenge is the first video to make would be like I just did. List the jerseys you're, you're hoping to get. Maybe it's a top three, five, seven, whatever. Then at the end of the year, the last week of December, make a follow-up video with whatever you were able to get, if any, of that top of what your hopefuls are for the year 2010. So there you go. There's Mighty Fan's year-long challenge for 2010. I call it the top blank. <laughs> yep, I, I get that right. The top fill in the number <laughs> jerseys of uh, 2010. So there you go. Hope you guys like this challenge, and I look forward to hearing your uh, your responses to it. Your top three, five, whatever jerseys you hope to get for 2010, and are we able to do it? We will see. Now I also think it'd be interesting if some of us have the same jerseys. That would be kind of interesting. But if any of you have the same jerseys that that I listed and you're trying to get the same one that I'm trying to get, I'll rock, paper, scissors you. <laughs> I'll challenge you to a game rock, paper, scissors for the jersey. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But <laughs> but I think it would be kind of cool just to have a year-long challenge. So there it is. 
if you dare uh, accept this challenge, I hope you guys do, and let's have fun with this. Alright, this is Mighty Fan, peace, bye, and I'll see you in my next video.